Self-driving cars are usually high-end, expensive machines. You could drop a hundred grand on a Tesla, or try to get a ride in a self-driving Uber, but their cars and the likes of Google's are so laden with the very latest tech that they're way out of reach for personal ownership. One spinning LiDAR sensor can cost tens of thousands of dollars alone. Hyundai wants to change that. The Korean car maker is joining the ever-growing field of autonomous wannabes, and it's testing its creations in Las Vegas. Nevada is the state of choice for many automakers to test their driverless machines. Here is the coveted red autonomous vehicle plate. So this car is legal to drive itself here with certain restrictions. It's paired this time though with a Hyundai badge. The automaker is here trying to prove it's serious about bringing driverless cars to the masses. Hyundai is building self-driving prototypes on its Ionic platform, which comes as a regular hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, or a pure electric. And it says the idea is to make a self-driving car at a price point attainable by an average buyer, not just throw tech at a project and then try to cut costs afterwards. Key to its approach is detailed mapping, but it also uses three cheaper LiDAR laser units integrated into the front bumper, as well as four cameras and three radars. It worked well enough on a pre-planned course in Las Vegas, if a little hesitantly. And the various sensors all around us are checking around the vehicle, presumably before we make a turn like that, to make sure there wasn't a cycle alongside us. Hyundai is working to reduce the computing power needed to the bare minimum, as that saves both cost and energy consumption. It will show off this car at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, but it will be sharing the road with tons of other prototypes. It's a key time for manufacturers to demonstrate their abilities, as car makers, ride sharers, and technology companies all work hard to propel us towards a self-driving future.